Hello, good morning. It is yet another blessed day, and we are out on the street of Patakot to actually give Nigeria the opportunity to air out their views in regards to the newspaper headlines. Hi. All right, like you all know, this is your favorite show here on TAF TV, the newspaper review. I am your host for today. My name is Ayo Okeme. Now, before we hit to the street of Patakot to hear what Nigerians have to say in regards to the newspaper headlines, let's move straight to what the newspaper headline has for us today, being the 23rd day in the month of April. Now, first, we'll be considering the vanguard. Now, the vanguard here on the front page says IGP kicks as ex-president orders back state policing. Now, this is in regards to the state policing that we've been hearing over time. Now, details of that is found on page five. Now, moving on, still on the vanguard newspaper, we're seeing Okwama help. We are dying in forest. Displaced residents begs, begs out. Now, details of that is found on page eight. And moving on to page Six, we are seeing Edo Guba, Uniben, Asu threatens non-resumption of classes over attack on lecturers. Oh, that's a sad one or that. And now still on the vanguard, we are seeing Rivers Assembly overrides Fubara, passes local government amendment bill. Details of that is found on page 12. Now moving on still on the vanguard newspaper, we are seeing on page 23, it says federal government transfers regulatory oversight of Enugu electricity to state government. Details of that is found on page 23. Now moving on to our next paper. All right, on our next paper review, we're looking at the Daily Sun. Now first on the headline, we're seeing Tinibu keeps open mind as Jonathan backs state policing. Details of that is still found on page four. All right, now moving on still on the Daily Sun, we are seeing Obi raises concern over Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway Project. Details of that is found on page 26. Edo Guba, INEC lift ban on political campaigns. One part is against malicious hate species. Details of that is found on page 26. On page two, we are seeing still on the Daily Sun, on page two, we are seeing Face Bank appoints Aliboso as MD. Details of that is found on page five. And still, lastly, on the Daily Sun, we'll be looking at page, page five, which says, Hate men kill three in renewed attack in Benue. Details of that is found on page five. That's quite a sad one. Now, lastly, on our newspaper review for today, we are considering the nation's paper. On the headlines there, on our nation's newspaper, we are seeing on page three, it says, Illegal foreign funds, mining fuel, Illegal foreign funds, mining foiling terrorism, says Tinibu. Details of that is found on page three. Now, now still on the nation newspaper, we're seeing Rivers Assembly overrides Fubara, passes local government amendment bill. Details of that is found on page three. Now on page 27, still on the nation newspaper, we're seeing food crisis looms in Nigeria between June and October. Details of that, you can find it still on the Nation's newspaper on page 27. And on the front page of the Nation newspaper, we are seeing Jonathan, others key state police. IGP defies. Now, this is still the case of state policing and IGP stating out his point that Nigeria is not ripe yet to actually undergo state policing. You can still find details of that on page 4. Now, still on the Nation newspaper, we are seeing World Igbo Conference, Oanese, decries imbalance in federal character. Details of that is found on page 5. Now, lastly, on the nation's newspaper, we are seeing government to sell Abuja, Ibadan, Benin, Kaduna, Kanu, Discourse. Details of that is found on page two. All right, now that's how that's all be given out for you on the newspaper headline for today. Now let's sit down to the streets and get to hear what Nigerians have to say in regards to this newspaper. Stay tuned. Hello, good morning, sir. Good morning, my dear. All right, you're welcome. Now I'd like your thoughts on the Vanguard newspaper that says IGP kicks as ex-president and others back state police. Now they, this is their uh, their. The federal government is speaking on state policing. Now, we, we still remember the story, and they are bringing it back. Now, what's your thought on that? Well, my candid opinion is that I stand with the IGP as an expert, as a security chief. He knows what he's talking. He's a professional in his business. He's not a politician. He's a trained policeman. He knows he's talking from experience. Now, you see, from 19, since 1999, we have seen the trend how politicians hijack system and build systems. And what do they call system? It is 
putting things that they will use in winning election. Okay. Nothing matters to a politician than putting a system that will give him victory they're, they're in election. Whether it is by hook or crook, okay. he or she wants to win election. Surely, surely. And these people have ordinary had what, what they call foot soldiers. These foot soldier jobs they do is to do dirty jobs. They go snatch ballot buses, kidnap people, fight the opposition, destroy the opposition, and in short, cause mayhem. This time they have not given them license. Okay. Uh, These are hoodlums. Obviously. They are street boys. Okay. Let us reason. If we have accommodated some certain persons and call them state police mm -hmm. and it will, the state police will be paid by the state government oh. bros he that pays the piper <laughs> dictate the pace obviously and these are our politicians they are not american politicians mm. they are not western politicians yeah, they are nigerian, nigerian politicians that love intimidating the opponent governor will stop other people from campaigning okay. we have seen Governors will send people to remove people posters. Okay. Governors will come up with decree 22, decree 30, so every decree to make sure they them. oppress the other the opponent. Okay. So if a governor had this I security as his own back at his own back and coin, that is a recipe Obviously. for intimidation. They are like horseback. They are like other vigilantes. But now you have given them, them recognition. License. As state police, okay. these people will work for those money bags, those their masters. So they will become the ruling party's okay. security Obviously. apparatus. Obviously. Who is fooling who? I wonder. Let us tow the line of the AG, uh, uh, IGP. We, IGP. We have not even finished, even with the regular police. Mm. They have to rig elections. Obviously. Permit me to say. Obviously. Now, every, every night How I much this. more giving like this license? Licensing, by the way, who are the state police? These boys are still, these people will come from the political setting. It's not. Okay. Every local government will produce character commission okay. in the state and it will end up being a, a, a great violation of law. Yes, Please, the IGP is absolutely great. correct because it's a professional. All right, please, oh, one last question before you go now. Do you think this uh, state policing will bring result to ethnicity? Like having to, okay, uh, the, the, this set of persons are from, from this tribe. W w do you think it will bring some level of ethnicity? Because um, the uh, Senate president made it clearly that if, if this uh, if this uh, state policing gets to play out, that so some persons will actually say, okay, seeing this person is from my part, seeing this person is from my tribe, okay, let, let me just have it. Do you think it's going to result to some level of ethnicity? It depends on where they are being picked from. Let us assume that in River State, if you're doing state policing, you will not bring people from Abia now. Obviously, it will be Rivers will be, Rivers, isn't rivers, it? Rivers. Now, the Rivers Rivers is that how did they emerge? How did this start? How are they recruited? Who is paying them? Where is the salary coming from? Is it from federal or from state? Who brought them? Is it the local government chairman or from every local government had its own quota? Then the party chairman, the ruling party chairman will submit list. Mm -hmm. And then they and, and in all this the, the LGS, the party ruling parties will bring list and they form the state. Look, it is going to be a political party, state police, not oh, state oh, police. Oh, obviously. Eh? obviously. Uh, it's, it's. Thank you very much, sir. We're grateful. Thank you. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, please, I, I, would, I would like your thoughts on the nation newspaper that say Abunose and Jonathan and others, key state police. IGP defies. Now, the, the, this is um, the, the federal government telling us that they, they, are, they are about to uh, initiate the state policing that we have been hearing over time. And the IGP now is, is telling them, no, that Nigeria is not ready for that kind of uh, situation now. What, what do you think on that? As of now, we need, we look, Nigeria no need in the um, state police okay. because all these politicians will use them to destroy Nigeria, so to fight their enemies. Obviously. So we don't want. Uh, a state police. Okay, so okay. I, I, at this point now, uh, just like this man said, uh, will, will there be some level of ethnicity? Now, take for instance, take for instance, this is River State. If they want to uh, initiate this state policing, did you think that uh, 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 ethnicity will, will come into play? At all, at all. It will not. It, it, it will come it will in. Not, it okay, will not. Now, uh,
happened in Morris. All right, now, I would like your thoughts on the nation newspaper that says, illegal foreign funds, mining fueling tourism, says Tinibu. Now, this is our president telling us that the illegal mining uh, sites that we have in Nigeria is not, in quotes, being funded by Nigerians and and, uh, and and the nation at large, that we're having foreign hands. Even the terrorism, okay, in quotes, like Boko Haram is being funded by outsiders, not we Nigerians. I, I disagree with him. Okay. I disagree with because the Boko Haram, they are the one that started it initially. Because I could remember 2015, before Buhari take over president, he was threatening that if power did not return to north, that monkeys and baboos will shed blood. So those things are not uh, what he's supposed to say. So they are the people that started it. It originated from north, just like as we are now. Nobody can come to your community and instigate crisis. And if you allow it to happen, that means you are in support of that. When the thing escalated, you don't need to blame any international community or any other person about your misconduct. So I disagree with you. At, at this point, it means what we are having now first, first started with us. Yes, uh, now. So even if we have external hands, it's just because we have support from people. Yes, inside. of course. Okay, of okay, course. Obviously. It's, it's, it's outside that rat, rat okay. that always, uh, always tell the inner rat that there is something okay, okay, fishy something inside. inside. All right, now let's, let, let's divert a little bit. Now, this one has to do with um, uh, state policing. The, 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 the federal government, you know, they, they have been telling us about this state policing. Yes. They are finally bringing it in, into limelight. But the um, I, I, Inspector General of Police is saying that Nigeria is not ready. Nigeria, they never did right to, to actually undergo community policing. What's your, th what's your thoughts on yes, that? The uh, IGP is very correct. Nigeria is not matured for community policing okay. because the federal police we have now, even federal government cannot even handle them well. They are intimidating citizens here and there. So talk more of bringing a community police. That means citizens will not have base. They cannot even rest at, at all. The intimidation will be much on us. We will be suffering from federal police, state police, even other security agencies. So it's not, it's not encouraging at all. Just like in Rivers, where we have us park, they go after even having an issue with your girlfriend, they'll come and arrest you, intimidate you, all those things. So, so I don't think they are matured for that. At this point, thank yes. you very much. Now, so uh, generally now, as a Nigerian, do, do you think we're actually moving forward? Or we, we, we are still where we used to be? We are, Nigeria is so stagnant at this point. They are not doing anything. We don't have any plans on ground to move the country forward. So the God, we're having leaders that don't have plan, they don't have vision. They are only there to to, to siphon our 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 funds. our funds. So it's not helping at all. No plan at all. No yeah. Thank you very much. Thank all right, this is where we come to the end of our newspaper review for today. Remember, I've been your host, Ayo Keme, and you indeed you have actually seen the reactions of Nigerians. They have actually aired their voices in regards to the things that are actually affecting every single Nigerian. Remember, you all can be part of this show. Do well to follow us up on all our social media handles. And if you are yet to subscribe, please turn on your subscription button. And remember that whatever you say here is for the benefit of our nation building. I remain your co-host for today. Hey, okay, man. Do well to take care of yourself. See you next time.